What's going on everyone, Ulrich back here with a brand new video on the channel. Today guys, I will be showing you 5 secret pro tips. I know you guys are tired of getting rank 3, rank 2 in uh, Wiki League and Info Champions, but today I have 5 secret tips for you that pro players are not telling you about that they are using to maximize their wins in Wiki League and also reach Elite Division in Rival. So let's just jump into today's video where I show you guys these 5 secret tips on the EFC 24 to get more wins. In weekly. The first tip for this video uh, will actually be something we do before we jump into the games in weekly, your rivals, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the first thing will then be set up for formations. As you see here, we can select the game plan and you do this by going into formations and then pressing L2. So we have a ultra defensive formation, defensive formation, attack information and ultra attack information. And as I said previously to you guys, my 4-3-2-1 tactics are perfect. So this will be my main tactic. So when I go into the game, I press this button twice to go into my attack information which will automatically get my team into a 4-3-2-1 formation then i have defensive one as my 4-4-2 and i'm basically using this one not too much but if i were to use it that's mainly because i feel like my opponent is maybe playing better than me he has the momentum he's putting a bit of pressure on me and i feel like i want to switch the game plan up and then i switch to the 4-4-2 then we also have a 4-4-1-1 which i showcased you guys in uh, i think in two videos ago with 100 depth as well and this is a more of a defensive formation you won't really call see a lot of goals in this formation because it's really really good defending wise so i have that done as well so i don't really need to pause the game i can just go to ultra defensive with the d-pad automatically so i don't really need to pause the game and then try to set everything up and then of course ultra attacking if your opponent is trying to be a bit of a rat and playing the game out very very late during the game you can just once again press the d-pad go to ultra attacking and then try to pressure him as much as you can but also putting this constant pressure on of course we do 100 depth here and if you really guys really want a video about this i can definitely do that for you guys but this is it the first tip is to put on four formations that you feel comfortable with. Have one attacking formation where you need to really go for the game if your opponent is just keeping the ball. Have two formations that you're really comfortable with. In my case, it's 4-3-2-1 and 4-4-2. And then have one defensive formation where you can play the game out in. In my case, it's just 4-4-1-1. So, the second tip of this video will also be something we do before we jump into the game to maximize our chances of winning, and that will be build a team depending on what the play stance is. So, for example, as a right back, you most likely want someone that is really, really quick in terms of stats, but if you look at Trent Alexander-Arnold's playstyle, he has the long ball plus playstyle, which is really, really good. He has the whip playstyle, which is really, really good for crosses, and then also the intercept plus, which means that he has an even greater reach and improved chances of retaining possession of the ball when performing interceptions. So, always try to build your team around the playstyles, because in this year's game, the playstyles are super, super overpowered and use them to your advantage. If you're going for Ruben Diaz, for example, again, if you look at his playstyles, he has all the playstyles in defending. Then, obviously, he has gold in block, intercept, and also bruiser. And this will help yourself defending and uh, will also help the AI maybe doing some auto blocks, intercept the ball more often, etc. So, always try to look for the playstyles before you jump into the game and also try to build your team around playstyles. And as I said now, we've been showing the defenders ones. For the midfielders, I would say passing playstyles are really, really important like the incisive pass, the long ball pass plus and also Tiki Taka but Pedri also has the technical plus so that's also really really good. For the strikers I would advise you guys to always look for strikers in this year's game. Now we're pretty late in the game cycle so I would always advise you guys to have someone with finesse shot plus as a finesse shot is getting so much better if you're just using it inside the box with someone that has finesse shot playstyle. So if you look at my attack for example I have Rafael Liao who has the finesse shot plus, I have Juan Felix who has the finesse shot plus in white and last but not least I have Heung Min Son who has the finesse shot plus as well. So three of my attackers, all of them have finesse shot, but Liao and Son has the finesse shot plus. So as I said, once again, always try to build your team around playstyles. Midfielders, I would try to look at the uh, passing playstyles as much as you can and maybe have one set midfielder that have uh, the finesse shot as well so you can uh, take a few pop shots from far out of the box. For the defenders, always try to, to look for defenders with the defensive playstyles, most likely the block or the intercept, I would say, or the key ones. And then for the strikers, always try to look for someone that has finesse shot plus and also a bit of ball control, maybe the technical, maybe the first touch, maybe rapid, whatever. But that's a bit of pers personal preference. So strikers, finesse shot, CMs, long ball pass play styles, or uh, the ping pass. And then for the defenders, block or intercept for example. So tip number three for this video will be to not spam your weekly games on Fridays. Save your games for a later date, maybe to Sunday, Monday, even Tuesdays, and you will get a lot more rage quits, not have a good chance or high chance of facing pro players, which you don't really want to because you want to achieve the highest possible score in weekly league or for champions but also because all the pro players are playing their games mostly on Fridays because they want to get their rules act as quick as possible then to be able to sell the players as quick as possible and then try to build their dream 
team. So, avoid playing Friday and Saturday. Try to save your games for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And it's fine if you play a few games on Saturday, but mainly do not play on Friday. So guys, tip number four will be always try to green time your shots. The chances of your shots by actually green timing it will be much, much higher than if you just shoot a normal shot. But the thing that can happen if you try to green time a shot is this in the background. We'll play a Portuguese pro player here. He almost has an open net there with his Usmane Dembele. He raise times his shot, which means that he's, he's not scoring and I will create a counter-attacking option from this. But then you might ask yourself, how do I really practice this? Is it only by playing weekly league? Is it only by going into games? No, I have this special thing for you guys that you need to use to be better in timing. So this secret formula is something that I haven't seen anyone else doing, but I'm using this almost 15 to 20 minutes every day to become a master of the green time finish. So I just go into the training center, remove all players besides my player here, Kylian Mbappé, and just try to shoot as many uh, shots as you can. I actually take a timer on my phone to actually go to like 20 minutes. So I just put it like this, put timer, and then I put it like this and then I just put it next to the monitor and just sit there for 15 to 20 minutes green timing shots and I promise you guys you will be able to green time way more shots in EFC 24 by using this method. As you see now I have three in a row and this is just my first time actually going back into it four, four times in a row and I became so much better by using the green time finish by just going into the training pitch and doing this. So thing I do once again, that was a red time, but I did five in a row, which means that's really good. And my highest goal is actually 23 in a row. So you have kind of a goal to beat. And if you're able to beat that, you are a master of the green time finish. And the last tip for the video will be tip number five, which will be always make sure to use my 4-3-2-1 tactics. I know a lot of you guys recently on this video up here has been, you know, smashing the like button, a lot of good comments about the tactics. So make sure to go into this tactic very, very quickly, copy them, go into weekly league and just smash your opponents because as i said it's a lot of people that lo love these kind of videos and i will just try to help you as much as i can i love to do these kind of videos and see you nice comments in the comment section down below so make sure to use these five pro tips and let me know down in the comments whatever you think about them if you like them and uh, yeah just give it a thumbs up love you guys uh, comment something nice down below and if there's something else you guys want to see on the channel in terms of tutorials or whatever please also let me know down in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and all that kind of stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one Stay safe, stay humble, and as always, bye-bye. But I still think 100 depth is really good. And if you really want to make it more compact, like I showed you guys in the 4411 tactic video that I posted like a week ago, you could go like 15, 15 width, but I think still you need to have some width in 4321. So I would advise you guys to go from like maybe around 20 width, maybe up to 30, I would say. In terms of build-up play, we have balanced, direct passing, width we have 45, players in box 6, we have corners and free kicks on 2. And then the, for the formation, we have obviously playing like this, we play Arnold as the right back, we play Ruben Diaz, Danso, and Kai Havertz as defensive line in the 4-3-2-1 we 